Now, without further ado, we're going to uh, let people line up for questions from our special guest, Derek Wyatt, art director of Transformers Animated. Give him a round of applause, people. Thank you. Um, hello, Mr. Wyatt. Hi. Um, I had a question about the Optimus Prime. Like, at, like early, like at some points during season one, he had like the mask on, but yeah. And later in the series, it just doesn't show up. It's just um, we forget to edit in the storyboard stage, so then it doesn't get animated. Um, it, it, I think we do it later in the season, though. We give him a, a especially when he goes into battle. Um, he's going to use it a little more. Hi, Derek. Hi. Who is your favorite character to come up with, your least favorite character, and somebody who you never got a chance to do? Um, of any generation or of what we've done? Um, of what you've done. My favorite character is Swindle. Flat out Swindle. It was really fun to do that and uh, to get such a obscure character into... And he's my favorite G1 character, too, so that was really a lot of fun. And having Fred Will Willard do his voice. Thank you. Um, my least favorite character was is Beachcomber, and <laughs> and you should be you should be really glad that he got cut out. Then, if you're if you're going, because we were going to treat him very very badly in the show. Um, I would have it would have been cool to do Galvatron, uh, to have Megatron go through that transformation and maybe even get Leonard Nimoy to do the voice. That would be. That would be my top wish. You know, that would be cool. Um, my question for you would be, what are some of the non-Transformer influences that have kind of affected the animated design process? Oh, there's, there's a lot. You know, the most obvious one is Mighty Orbots. There's a lot of Orbots in there. Um, I'm a big fan of, of Hanna-Barbera cartoons and, and uh, all stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of uh, ABC Warriors in it, too. Uh, that's all I can think of at this time. Gorillas, maybe? A little gorillas in there? Hi. Hi. What motivates you to be so involved in the Transformers fandom with your work on Animated? Um, I love Transformers. I've been a Transformers fan since I was 12. So, I've been drawing them since I was 12. And I, mm, I just have always loved, uh, I've always loved Transformers. Why doesn't the blur in this series have, doesn't look any similar to the one in the, in the original one? Blur? Yeah. Uh, he was redesigned with some uh, aspects of Transtech Cheetor and there's a little um, other, other homages, I, maybe, yeah. There's other homages in there too. So we wanted to mix him up a little bit, make him a little more, uh, wanted to make the vehicle a little more um, earthly, even though it's still futuristic. And uh, uh, we were pretty happy with how he came out. Which character was the hardest to design or went through the most changes? Hmm. Um, Lockdown went through a lot of changes because I had originally designed him as very Frankenstein-like and he had little tiny arms and, and big arms too. And, and uh, <clears throat> he went through a lot of changes. Prowl went through a lot of changes too. He was, you know, when I first started him out, he had his wheels on the shoulder and uh, he, was, he was white like the original Prowl. And... Um, I think those guys were, they went through the most revision process. Like, uh, as far as who was really hard to draw, like Omega Supreme was really hard to draw because he's a lot more detailed than, than our normal um, Transformers animated model. And it just takes more time, adding more detail. Hi. Hi. I was wondering, what's the female Starscream clone's name? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Uh, Um, uh, it's not Susan. <laughs> uh, it's not Dirge. Um, <clears throat> Laserbeak. <laughs> I don't think your name is Laserbeak. Um, I, I would like to tell you, but I don't know if I can. Could I take a guess? Oh, what's that? Could I guess? Okay. Is it Nightbird? No, it's not Nightbird. Ah. No, it's not laser wave. I don't even know. <laughs> Somebody said it. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> but do you have another question? Since that one uh, kind of... Um, <laughs> will there be more female characters introduced before the end of the series? Uh, there, there may be more um, 
female incidental characters. Um, not, uh, not main main characters though. Flip sides. Uh, no flip sides. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That.